A special delivery today at the National Mall. After a brief layover at Joint Base Andrews, the Capitol Christmas tree has finally arrived. All right, Bob Barnard's down there with, with the tree and with all the details this morning. Hi, Bob. Hey, Steve, Jeanette, it's been a two-week odyssey from North Carolina to here on 3rd Street uh, along the National Mall. Take a look. There it is. It's this year's uh, U.S. Capitol Christmas tree. It's a 78-foot red spruce. It's come from a national forest down in North Carolina, the Appalachian Mountains. And uh, we're going to show you in a moment here what it lo looks like during the daylight uh, because it did arrive at Joint Base Andrews yesterday and Sky Fox was over that. But we also want to introduce Adrienne Rubiaco with the uh, U.S. Forest Service. Adrienne, you made the journey from North Carolina. Good morning. Yes, I did, along with a pretty good-sized team. Uh, you had a couple of drivers, and we're going to speak to them in our next hour. But tell me about this tree. It, it, which forest has it come from? And tell me about its uh, journey getting here to Joint Base Andrews yesterday, now along the mall. Yes, this tree came from the Pisgah National Forest, which is in western North Carolina. And we have national forests spread across North Carolina from the mountains to the sea, which was the theme this year for our tour. So we took Ruby the Red Spruce, as we affectionately called her, from the mountains to the sea and then up to D.C. So uh, it arrived yesterday, and, and our, I think our viewers are getting to see what it looks like in the daylight. But it also had a great journey, right? It's about 500 miles to the, the forest where it came from, but it took a little route to kind of be celebrated. Is that right? That's correct. Uh, we That's the direct route is about 500. Um, but we went to various communities across the state. And it was a, over a dozen stops, so just within the local communities that are close to our national forest that we um, serve and work with. So we understand this is going to be uprighted later today on the west front of the mall, and it'll be lighted and then uh, officially lighted on uh, November 29th. So that's a Tuesday in a couple of weeks. Tell me about, is, is this a big shot in the arm for the Forest Service to have, you know, one of your babies out there for the, the world and the country to see? It really is an honor to be chosen this year, and it also provides us with an amazing opportunity to connect with our public and especially connect them to their public lands. And Ruby this year is a red spruce, so the project has um, enabled us to work on various red spruce restoration efforts. And this tree will actually be milled after the time spent on the West Lawn and made into instruments that will be donated back to local communities in Western North Carolina. What kind of instruments? Um, specifically guitars and banjos. Yep. And they'll be made by local instrument makers as well. That's fantastic. Last thing, red spruce. Is that a common tree? It's, it's kind of a new name to me. Oh, it's a pretty iconic tree in southern Appalachia, and they tend to grow at the higher elevations, um, and so they're on these little islands, sky islands as we call them, um, and so they're pretty iconic if you come to southern Appalachia. Adrian, thank you so much. I appreciate it. As we leave you, I want to kind of show the people who helped uh, get this tree here, the, the two drivers for the Forest Service. Oh, they're shy, but we're going to speak to them <laughs> coming up in our next hour, guys. Uh, a, a, a Quite a journey, and it's a, quite a tradition here uh, in Washington, the U.S. Capitol Christmas tree. Horizontal, but it'll be upright later today. All right, never gets old. Love to, love to see the, uh, the tree coming in for the holidays. All right, Bob, thank you.